In this video, I will outline the new capabilities and behaviors for CAD support in ArcGIS 10.4 Desktop. A significant portion of GIS vector data originates from data created in computer-aided drafting software like AutoCAD or MicroStation. ArcGIS has the capability to read and write CAD data in their native DGN, DXF, and DWG formats. Esri has also introduced a way to store GIS data inside AutoCAD DWG files that can be further leveraged by AutoCAD users with Esri's free ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin. Esri continues to improve the integration of CAD data in both the plugin and the core capabilities of ArcGIS Desktop. The ArcGIS Desktop 10.4 release includes three important enhancements to CAD support. When ArcGIS data is exported to AutoCAD files using the Export to CAD Geoprocessing tool, field domains are now included in the output schema. This is especially useful for those working with these exported AutoCAD files inside the ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin. The second major enhancement is the treatment of AutoCAD blocks and MicroStation shared cells. In ArcGIS 10.4, these named entities will be organized automatically as ArcGIS point feature classes. Instead of creating definition queries to group these like features, ArcGIS Desktop will now open CAD files with these blocks and shared cell entities already directly available as CAD point feature classes. Finally, grouped features in AutoCAD are now treated as single, complex, multi-part features. This is useful for depicting multi-part features or creating white space within a feature or having a complex nested polygon. Let's take a look at these new behaviors in action. When I view attributes of these features here in ArcMap, I can see that the fields exhibit behaviors consistent with coded field domains. These fields have predefined lists of possible values which I want the user to pick. This data has both coded value domains consisting of lists of options as well as range domains used to limit the values of numbers between a minimum and maximum value. These field domains are now included in the mapping specification for CAD. This new automatic behavior happens when I export the data to CAD using the Export to CAD Geoprocessing tool. If the field domain definitions exist on the fields, they will automatically be included in the schema and exported to the CAD feature classes embedded in the AutoCAD file. Once I export the data to the CAD file, I can open up the drawing here in ArcGIS for AutoCAD. When I edit these features using the attribute dialog, I can see that the domain definitions are honored when editing, both in the attribute dialog and in the table viewer. Here I'm presented with a pick list of coded value domains, and I'm limited to minimum and maximum values for those fields with range domains. Another new behavior occurs in ArcGIS Desktop 10.4 when AutoCAD blocks or MicroStation's shared cells are added to the map. ArcGIS treats these objects as point feature classes. This drawing includes many different AutoCAD blocks with attributes to depict various electrical distribution equipment. There are different blocks defined for all the different types of equipment and each has its own set of attributes for that type of object. Opening this same drawing in ArcMap 10.4, I see that the dataset folder contains all the different blocks as feature classes according to their block name. I will add the entire drawing and I see that each block is automatically added as its own feature layer. Each feature class then includes just the fields for the attributes belonging to that one block or cell. This is different than the behavior of previous versions where all the block attributes of all the blocks were defined on every point feature. I can directly use these CAD attributes as attribute fields in geoprocessing or use them in ArcMap attribute selection tools like I'm doing here. This new behavior makes it easy to understand and directly use the content of my unstructured AutoCAD and MicroStation drawings containing blocks or cells. <laughs> 